Hello and a warm welcome to another edition of To The Point. Elections in Goa have largely been bipolar, but this year in 2017, the pitch has been queered by Aam Aadmi Party. How are the odds stacked up against parties like BJP and Congress? Joining me now is veteran Congress Rajya Sabha MP from Goa, Shantaram Naik. Welcome, sir, and To The Point. Uh, let me begin by asking you uh, a very analytical question which uh, the observers and uh, the political observers feel and that is that the campaign hasn't really begun. But why is there a perception that Congress somehow has lost the plot uh, in this year's election? Oh, you are a very wrong your assessment. See, I can admit that we are very uh, last number in the last elections. But this time, Congress is little above. I don't know how much seat Congress will get or the BJP. Mm -hmm. But Congress certainly is above better position than BJP. This much I can say. This is one thing. Number two, Aam Admi is eating into Congress votes. It's true. But so also, the BJP RSS outfit, which has formed a separate party, is going to dent into BJP vote tremendously. Okay. And therefore, the damage is going to be there also. Then there are other Are you hinting parties. at the fact that the assessment of this year's election is would really be a difficult very task? Very difficult. I am always saying that people from ba Delhi and Bombay journalists, they used to make assessment immediately after the second week they come here. Mm -hmm. This time, even for local journalists, it will be difficult to make assessment till last. That is the situation this time. You, you made a significant point when you said that uh, 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 Aam Aadmi Party will eat into the votes of Congress this time. Uh, why has it happened? What has that situation, why that situation arose that Aam Aadmi Party actually was trying to displace Congress in some way or the no, other? No, uh, Aam Aadmi started concentrating in South. Okay. And base of Congress is in South. They are not likely to get even a single seat, mm -hmm. you can imagine. But they are going to take our votes in some South constituency. But there will be balance because RSS outfit is going into uh, BJP votes. Okay. Besides Maharashtra, the government party, which was an ally of BJP, they have also is, broken. They also broken. So who is going to eat into whose words and to what extent is difficult assessment. Okay. Uh, this is again a very hypothetical situation because uh, it's, it's too early to judge anything and the campaign is still uh, picking up. But uh, if you look at the track record of Congress in the last five years, uh, especially in the state uh, unit and the way uh, the MLAs have functioned inside the assembly, uh, many people have been telling me that the, the MLAs have not been raising issues properly. Uh, what has been the, the reason? We haven't seen any agitations. We haven't seen any protests on the vexed issues which are ailing Goa. W what has been the reason? No, agitations are there to the, I mean, from the Goan standard, agitations were there. Only thing is that I'll admit that more better performance could have been done on the floor of the assembly, right. which is not uh, that to that extent. But uh, outside, sufficient demonstration were there. You compare to other parties also. In fact, you yourself are admitting it. We, we, we did see that inside the assembly, it was largely the, the five independents who took the role of the principal opposition. Some say so, but uh, not to that extent, I will say, not to that extent. Mr. Rani is also doing good job as a leader of opposition. Earlier used to be little silent, but later, later years he has picked up. And there are this regional, another MLA, he has been taken up. Now, and independent MLAs, they have got little better scope. They have no limits on what to ask, what is meant to ask. So they played effective role. No but uh, Mr. Naik, apart from asking questions, apart from raising issues inside uh, uh, the house, on the floor of the house, uh, we have also seen that there were some MLAs, I was just reading a few magazines uh, of Goa, which, which really pointed out the fact that how certain Congress MLAs, they went to the extent of supporting BJP on, on the floor of the house. So when, when this kind of a conduct happens on the floor of the house, 
is a high command not supposed to take some action uh, against such leaders? No, that's the question is, uh, now say, take, take for instance, private members resolution. Right. When private members resolution right. come, uh, see, independent MLA, they take stand, independent stands. Mm -hmm. They sometimes support also right. a resolution, passed a resolution unanimously. But not respect to government bills or government legislation. There the opposition is thorough. But a person like Movin Gudino, when he uh, spoke inside the house and he went to the extent of openly supporting uh, uh, the BJP, but not uh, much of uh, action so was Movin seen against Movin Gudino him. for last two years virtually was out of Congress. Technically, he was within Congress. Okay. So that example will not suit. He was virtually not with us. Right. But, but is it true, Mr. Naik, uh, I don't know whether you would candidly admit that or not, but many editors and many senior journalists uh, who are very close to the state politics have been telling uh, me that for the last almost two years, most of the MLAs in the Congress camp have been, you know, drifting towards the BJP. They have expressed their willingness to join uh, BJP. No, no. That is that How is that possible? Those rumours are spread by, I, am, I will also be candid. Those rumours are spread by Mr. Parrikar, the Defence Minister and who was earlier Chief Minister. Okay. He is to blame Congress party all the time. He blame us on mining issues. Okay. I tell you, he is to say that it is the Congress people who indulge in illegal mining and, and time and again he was saying. Mm -hmm. But when they won the elections in the second assembly session, same Mr. Parrikar said, that no member of this assembly or immediate past assembly were in, involved in illegal mining. This is the statement, contrary to the statement he made after winning the election. When in fact he won the election on the plank of illegal mining by congressman. Okay. So this is type of, he is a rumor monger. I'm sorry to say it. Right. But but there is a joke also which is doing the rounds that apparently many uh, MLAs of uh, the Congress are trying to become the B team of BJP because many of them are, are in the process These of joining. These are the words which... are given by various parties. You see, we call Aam Admi as B team of BJP and they call us as this thing. These wordings of B team etc. everywhere it is going on. That That has no meaning. Okay. But uh, coming to the the vexed issues which are ailing uh, uh, Goa at the moment. Uh, amongst them is the biggest issue of the medium of instruction. How this is becoming a, a major point of contention uh, between various parties and uh, uh, though it's, it's a matter of choice, but it has become a political issue. How serious? What's your basically uh, no, we your have take said on that? that? Let parents decide okay. about that and we are resting on that plank. Because ultimately, political parties, by and large, cannot take sides on language. Mm -hmm. We have to leave it to the parents, and that's how it is. Only one party, that is the outfit of RSS, which has now formed a party, they have taken one stand. There also, they are not very clear on that. But the way Bharati, you are hinting at Bharati Bhasha Suraksha Manj, the way uh, uh, very uh, forcefully and uh, uh, categorically they are uh, they are raising this issue. So you, you mean to say that for them this is the biggest issue but for not for parties like your, yours and BJP? I learn, I can say, I learn the sole aim of Bharti Suraksha Manch party is mm -hmm. not to win any seat but they say our aim is to defeat BJP at least in seven assembly constituency. Okay. This is the attitude that is how far they succeed, how is that I have not. I will be happy. <laughs> but what about the issue of uh, withdrawing uh, grants or giving grants, uh, you know, to the English medium schools? That also has, uh, has no, become no, we a are, point. See, we have been giving grants to English medium schools. There is no change in that policy. Mm -hmm. By and large, people who like to study English, but therefore we continue with that. Another uh, uh, vexed issue is, of course, uh, of the casino culture. Now, Aam Aadmi Party's entry, Aam Aadmi Party has very categorically said that there should be a complete ban on casinos. And, uh, but the BJP accuses 
the Congress or the fact that it was Congress which gave licenses uh, to the casinos and uh, therefore it's, it's, it's very difficult because now so many people are into the jobs. There is no denial that Congress, because, because we were ruling, right. therefore casinos were brought. Hmm. But time and again, our policy was this, this casinos should be outside the river, in, on the, in the sea coast, that nobody followed. Even today, that rule is there, mm -hmm. that they should not be in the river bank, but it is continuing. So, we want to ban casinos altogether. In the meantime, if any formula comes, we will study that formula. But is it not true that Congress talking about banning casinos is, is more of a matter of political convenience and alluring the voters at this moment? And no, by and large, people are against casinos because casino culture is gambling and the sex or related sex issues etc. Mm -hmm. Therefore by and large people are against casinos. No doubt it gives employment etc. Other activities are there as a tourist destination things some people say it is they are required but we have to sacrifice certain things for larger interests of the state. But you firmly believe that Goa can thrive without the casino culture? We must strive to uh, identify other sources of revenue. Okay. Unfortunately, government is still not doing that. Mm -hmm. And I learned that GST, which is coming there, this part of entertainment tax, which, which Goa will miss, there is no alternative given in the GST bill. So that the state government should have tried with the central government. But but when you say other sources of income, now uh, for example, mining was a very big contributor to Goa's GDP. Uh, earnings through mining also have come down because of uh, the ban and the export, uh, uh, the ban on the export which was uh, lifted recently. But the the earnings haven't picked up. Now then you have the. The, the, the revenue earnings coming through casinos and if political parties bring in a ban, what are the other sources you are actually looking at? We can which probably increase, could contribute to Goa's GDP. Other facets of tourism. Okay. There are tourism broadly is one source. Mm -hmm. Then mining, giving boost to mining. Okay. Because mining of course has gone down because of the fluctuations in the rates etc. But giving boost to mining is one thing. Secondly, sports activities in other fields can be increased okay. and there are ways of first there must be a committee to sit mm -hmm. and identify the sources that we can tap. It's difficult no doubt but it is, it is gambling you see in the casinos you get ready made thing and this uh, casinos also has given to a lot of corruption because they don't pay entertainment fully. It money goes to the pockets of the ruling party politicians. Therefore, they do not want to be to ban this thing. Person like Arvind Kejriwal says that both BJP and Congress have been in cahoots with the casino mafias. See, Kejriwal is not an example to be given in anything. If you see his performance, I will not, need not repeat. Any any sane man would not give in five words to uh, Kejriwal party if they apply their mind. See, I am not saying this, they are, they are a political party, no doubt. But a type of political party, we does not deserve to be in, on the scene of political uh, this thing of the country. But Mr. Naik, there could also be another way of looking at it, that people of Goa are fed up with Congress, people of Goa are fed up with BJP. So, Aam Aadmi Party probably could provide a then credible Then they should option. make an assessment of Aam Aadmi. If you make an assessment of Aam Aadmi in the real sense, can any sane man vote for that party? This is a question. Why they have gone down in Delhi? Why they have gone down in Punjab after hype made two months back? Well, the opinion polls really pointed out that there is a large possibility of uh, uh, Kejriwal forming a government in Punjab. And oh, here in Goa as well, they could get a few seats. Oh, a few seats. You are talking a few seats. I will be surprised you if they get like one. One, one, two, I'll three. I will be surprised. Ah, okay. <laughs> if you are going to two, three, <laughs> then I will say I am doubtful if you will get one seat. I am doubtful. So you, you mean to say that the, the Jhadu symbol will not make any resonance with a Goan voter? 
this jhadu symbol as nahi see is alternative some people say that oh let us try this but this is a party which is not worth trying what i'm saying is if there was an alternative i could understand this is not worth you cannot compare congress bjp and aam aadmi but if you compare the campaigns of uh, congress you compare the congress uh, the campaigns of bjp and now when you see the uh, the campaign of the aam aadmi party uh, they look like a high decibel campaign i mean the way they have pitched themselves at least so are you mean you, you what according to am i to understand from what you're saying that uh, they have pitched a high decibel campaign but it's very symbolic first campaign they have started you if you must have seen right. this now you have entered after the code of counter three months back they started campaign how you know aam aadmi 35% bjp 20% something congress 26 16 three months they put big holdings mm-hmm. so the party which is based basically on falsehood and misguiding people you can imagine what it is i can understand some assessment later on and one thing i would like to mention of not seeing yes sir. this is the congress party which gave opinion poll to goa by which the fate of goa was decided. that's why we are union territory otherwise we would have merged into neighboring maharashtra we would have become a district of maharashtra it is congress party which included konkani in the eighth schedule it is congress party which gave konkani the official language status it is congress party which gave goa statehood and entire development which we see here in goa it is largely because of congress party nobody can deny but what is happening to the special status of goa which I'm the parties uh, have I'm, been demanding i am an expert on yeah. it i can claim to be expert i have moved resolution etc see there is article 371 of the constitution i take only one minute right 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 sir under that 371 a special provision can be made is for a state like goa mm-hmm. to enable the state legislature to enact a legislation to protect land culture etc okay and we are demanding an amendment to article 371 to enable our assembly to get this power that is simple thing difficult no doubt i i also concede others have not asked you see bihar madhya pradesh or whoever they are asking they are asking for special status which is different mm-hmm. it is special category status which is can be passed by an executive order right and this is the only special status which requires a constitutional amendment and we are now incorporating it in the manifesto bjp have backtracked bjp said congress cannot give you we will give you manohar parrikar made thousands of statement and when he became defense minister he went to delhi made a u turn and did not make announcement that but made lakshmikant parsekar his successor to tell the people of goa oh let us forget about that special status but if bjp <coughs> is not doing it then why is congress also not able to vociferously raise this issue see one thing i am telling you i confess it is not that easy but we have to strive to achieve it we are, see the, that party which has got majority to grant a constitutional amendment to uh, third etc then can boast but we have to convince other political parties to accept this 371 amendment mm-hmm. it is not 370 we are not asking like kashmir like this. please mm-hmm. don't understand people sometimes misunderstand mm-hmm. uh talking about the alliances uh, this time uh, now that it is clear that congress will contest uh, 36 seats and uh, you leave uh, uh, four to the others uh, many analysts believe that the prospects of congress the way it looks right now the ideal scenario would have been that you would your party would have contested some 25 seats and then in alliance with other smaller parties uh, what was the reason behind contesting 36 seats and not going for a safer option like See, this see some people were of the opinion that we should contest 40 right from the beginning i was not in favor of i have said we should not we are not that strong mm-hmm. to contest 26 we have to make some adjustment and therefore whatever figure you are saying in 25 etc or say near about we could have right. contested but uh, some people played some mischief and therefore we are not able to have an alliance the way we wanted it 
But is it not going to be a very big uh, drawback for the party then? Let us see, let us see. I, in fact, if there was an alliance with like-minded parties, it would have been better. But if the alliance, <clears throat> now that you're saying that the alliance hasn't been worked out the way you wanted, is it not like going to a battle without ammunition, without weapons, no, without but, any but preparation? Little, small ammunition, you can say. With United Goans Party, we had a smooth alliance and without any hitch. With Goa forward, there was a problem. With some, some of our own party, did not want to have. But nevertheless, whatever has happened, we have to accept it. Senior leader Digvijay Singh has also harped upon the fact that uh, the Congress party is in a, sheets, uh, in a seat sharing uh, uh, yeah. agreement with, with certain parties. And you know, it's, it's not an alliance. Yeah. How would you really differentiate uh, between the two then? I agree. Now, for yeah. example, the seat from which uh, Babush Monserrat is uh, fighting. Now, he was expelled from the party. Now, again, from the same seat, you're having a friendly fight with him. Uh, there is no much difference between sheet sharing and alliance, but we prefer no, to no, call but, it a sheet you, sharing. But if you take the perception of the party into account, it does affect, the, it, it does impact the image. For example, I was talking to you about the constituency from where Babush Monserrat is fighting. Uh, he was expelled from the party, he floated his own party, and now Congress is into a seat sharing agreement with him. So, uh, uh, this kind of an arrangement, how would one look at in it? In Goa, everything is fair. <laughs> in love and war, like that. It happens that way. But but if you see Masrat's party, right. his wife is contesting as a Congress yeah. candidate. Mm -hmm. If other followers also contesting as Congress candidate, so there was smooth sailing. Only I hope we would have should have solved this problem with Goa for our party, which unfortunately okay. could not happen. Uh, this time you have an alliance of uh, uh, Maharashtravadi Gomantak Party, Shiv, uh, Shiv Sena and uh, also the third uh, mm. partner. And they are projecting themselves, at least for now, as a credible alliance. Now they say that, you know, the smaller parties so far have always backed on uh, national parties like Congress and BJP, but they have misused them to the hilt. And now it is their turn to, you know, exact their pound of flesh. No, see, question is, Maharashtravadi Gumantak Party, although they ruled for 17 years, they ruled for 17 years, but they have nothing to boast about. If their policy were to take effect, we would have been in corner of a Maharashtra becoming a district. It was fortunately, at that time, there was an opinion poll given by Indira Gandhi and Goans could decide their fate and therefore we become Inentrately, consequently, the state. Okay. One another issue I would like right. to view with your right, permission. Right. Go ahead, sir. See, six Goan rivers, precious rivers, Mandavi, Zawari, you have heard the name, mm -hmm. have been nationalized by the government of India. Okay. Uh, amongst the 111 rivers, Congress in their career had not gone beyond six rivers, whatever it is. At one stroke of pen, 111 rivers are sought to be nationalized. From where Mr. Gadkari is going to get budget for this? Crores and crores and crores, unless he is lying totally. And I am concerned now with six Goa rivers. How he is going to develop these rivers? And you know the law, rules of those things, on the area, on banks of these rivers, ultimately go in the control of central government. If Goa, if central wanted to help Goa, they should have given some funds to the state government mm -hmm. to develop these rivers, to improve the transport. Mm -hmm. There was no need of nationalization of rivers. So is Congress planning to raise this issue as well also during elections? 100%, yes. During but so far you are the first leader from whom I am hearing about no, it. No, no, no. no. We, have, we had a big rally on this issue. We had a rally. Go forward no, and but a national leader like you talks, but we don't hear the state leaders talking about issues like uh -huh, this. That's no, a problem. No, the question is, yeah. But this is the important thing and I have more amendment also which will be introduced hopefully in the next session of that. Then so. you should be tutoring more of your state leaders, Mr. Naik. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One, one last question before we wind up. These elections will be largely a referendum of the demonetization drive of the Modi government. Do you also believe so that demonetization will really impact? One of the crucial issue, okay. I'll take one minute yes, on this sir. point. You know, demonetization 
is done under section 262 mm -hmm. of reserve bank of india act 1934 okay. this is the only provision under demonetization is done but what government of india did they invoke section 7 and gave certain direction to rbi governor on demonetization actually that provision also says those direction have to be given with prior consent of rbi governor so whether section 7 was followed, section 26 2 was followed, we still don't know. And Modi did not come to the house to make a statement on this issue, which was his prime duty. And prime duty when, when he made statement on 8th, session was on 16th, 16th itself he should have reported to both houses of parliament what he has done. But talking about its impact on elections, as uh, what Mr. Parsekar told me, that uh, Goan society is a very literate society. People are uh, used to the, the cashless mode. So they have taken it lightly and uh, the way it has been projected oh, in I'll other states. That. If it was cashless mode, Goa was the first state which was declared to be cashless state. And when this was declared within five to six days, BJP workers themselves met in a meeting and urged their own government to denotify that notification and it was taken back. Okay. The first state which had declared himself capital took back. Why did it do this? One, one candid answer I'm expecting from you before I just say goodbye to you on the show. Uh, many leaders of the record have been telling me that because of the demonetization drive and the strict guidelines of the election commission, Contesting elections is a very difficult job now because in every election, it's, it's, it's an open secret that people allure the voters with money, allure the voters with liquor, all that is missing. And that's the reason that people are just talking about the development activities in their own constituency. No, no, I mean, is that, it a fact? That, that has affected and I have no this thing question. Okay, okay. But that is not the thing. Why? Now, after demonization, lakhs and lakhs of people are getting unemployed because of retrenchment, layoff, people are going home. What is the solution for that? Who is going to answer for this? Is Modi not responsible for this exodus back to the villages and towns by unemployed Absolutely. youth is a question. 11th March is the day. All eyes uh, would be on the counting day and what people have uh, said about both BJP and Congress as well as Ahmadmi Party. Thank you, uh, Mr. Naik, for coming on the program. So that's it on this episode of To The Point. See you next time with another personality. Goodbye and thanks for watching.